Marcus, thanks for sitting down with me today. I appreciate it. Thank you. Marcus, you're with uh, JBM Envelope. Obviously, by the name, you make envelopes. We do. Yeah. You're here at the ASTA uh, Seed Congress this year in Chicago. Can you tell us a little bit about how that got started? What was the relationship that got envelopes tied in with the seed industry, and where are you at now? Sure. Uh, it's interesting. The first One of the first envelopes that we ever made was for the tobacco seed uh, okay. industry way back when. Mm -hmm. So not many people uh, outside of this conference would probably understand that uh, those are actually very difficult envelopes to make because how small tobacco seeds are and how slippery they are. Mm -hmm. uh, but my dad started the business in uh, 85, and he started it. Uh, really focusing for, first and foremost on the customer and we started manufacturing envelopes uh, in 1989 and uh, it's been going great since 89 till you know right now and I took over the business uh, a few years ago and it's been going really well nice nice and so now you're dealing with uh, I assume a wide swath of seed companies across the United States yeah Ast has been a real help there uh, we went to our first show last year uh, in California and uh, the vegetable and seed show was great there and one change we made in February of 2013 was we wanted to start working closer with the end user and understanding better uh, what the end user uh, needs and wants and uh, that changed and it allowed us to start talking closer with uh, the people are at these shows and that's uh, the point of us trying to establish some of those relationships and understand better what their what their needs and requirements are. Right, excellent. JBM's gotten a, a, a reputation for innovation, mm. um, and I will admit that I don't necessarily think innovation when I think envelopes. That's fair. And, uh, but it, that's the reputation, and I think people who depend on you and depend on envelopes in the seed industry have leaned on you for that. Yeah, that's, Can you tell us a little bit about where that's going? Certainly. That's, uh, innovation's been a big part of how we got to be the business that we are today. Um, you know, One problem that uh, was given to us uh, a few years ago uh, was that, the, as, as, as simple as it sounds, the perforation of the envelope wasn't uh, satisfactory. And we heard what the, customer, uh, the, the customer's problem there and uh, invested about $200,000 in equipment internally uh, to solve that problem and now it's, that has effectively, uh, it's not an issue for the customer anymore. And innovation is very dear to what we do. We've got uh, an innovation uh, team that meets twice a month and so we're very committed to when a customer can bring us an opportunity or an issue that they're having. Uh, I'm on the innovation team, our COO's on the innovation team, our salespeople are on the innovation team, uh, and most importantly, the people that make the envelopes are on the innovation team. So there's a lot of different uh, people in minds that can help solve the customer's problems. So uh, we've had a lot of, we had one actually on uh, Friday, we had a uh, a sales call and one problem came back from that customer and we brought that uh, to the innovation team in an emergency innovation meeting on Monday and we have four new ideas for them that we're going to deliver by the end of the week so that's kind of an example of what we're trying to do and why it's important for us to be working with the end user so we can better understand and hear what they're saying. Well and that flexibility is something that the seed industry just loves to hear because goodness knows we'll come up with problems. <laughs> right? I believe that, I believe it. <laughs> Another piece of that I know that's kind of near and dear to your heart is environmental stewardship. Yeah. Um, you folks were just awarded the uh, chain of custody certification from the Forestry Stewardship Council. Yes. Important. This is really important and I think it's a big deal for your company to be committed to this. It, Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, and, it, and that gets back again to listening to the customer because right. uh, for many of our customers, FSC certification and SFI certification are very important to them. Right. Uh, for, so, for others, it might not be as important, but we are ready uh, for the companies that do require that. And you know, both of those FSC and SFI certifications just ensure that uh, the, the, the materials are being taken from uh, a, a, an environmentally friendly uh, manner in harvesting the trees and such. So uh, we want, if the customers are interested in it, we are going to find a way to support them with it. Right. So as we talked about, we're down here in Chicago, largest seed event in uh, the world, as I'm told, and the biggest one that they've had here for, for many, many years. What's the one thing you're going to take away from uh, from this week, or do you expect to take away from this week, uh, spending this time with the seed industry? I'm I'm really excited to start establishing the relationships with uh, the different their prospects right now, but soon to be customers. You know, we've made these envelopes uh, for a number of years. 
Uh, historically, we've sold them through other envelope companies or uh, through distributors, and that's changing now with our direct approach. So uh, we're excited to be able to um, listen to them closer and establish a better relationship with them so that we can grow with the industry in the years to come. Where are we going to find you on the web? jbmpackaging.com JBM pa so yes. if they've got questions which everyone does in this industry about envelopes they can reach out to you and your team absolutely and absolutely we'd love it we'd better love understand it. how they can be successful yes awesome thanks again for sitting down with me I appreciate it thank you sir appreciate it thank you.